Dario, th this is probably going to be the quietest race of the weekend, but, uh, but you you have an interest. Yeah, I'm not sure it'll be the quietest while the parents are shouting, but the, um, <laughs> nah, the Settrington Cups are, is fun, isn't it? It's great to see all the kids out there really enjoying it. Um, my nephew Luca's doing it, and got some lots of friends have, with their, their kids doing it, so um, love to come and watch it and support them. And next year, my daughter, Sophia, apparently, she informs me she's racing. Christian Horner here in, in a slightly different collecting area, probably from what you're used to. Yeah, I'm, apparently I'm in the way, according to Olivia. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so it starts at a very young age. So this is her first ever race, age five. Um, and uh, we've passed scrutineering, so that's the main thing. And these, uh, these pedal, pedal cars are unbelievable, aren't they? Yeah, I was certainly wondering where they collect all these cars from. They probably have them made. They're super, aren't they? You know, I haven't thought that probably somebody is now making them. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. They wasn't around at the time, so somebody's made them now. They're really nice. Yeah, and they're, and they're beautiful cars and, and beautifully prepared. And I was, I was just talking to Dario Franchitti, and, and yeah. he said that put a bunch of racing drivers and a bunch of car preparers together, they're always going to be trick. Yeah, you're right. He's absolutely right. I mean, it's, it's always a real joy to come to this weekend just to be part of it. And I'm lucky enough to be in some of the races. But, you know, last year we had the first chance for our daughter, Lila, to have a go in the Setrington Cup. And, uh, yeah, she's really keen to come back and have another go. So, um, very excited. They're all very excited. <laughs> Coil Springs at the moment. Um, and I think, you know, Dylan's here for the first time to see it. So, um, hopefully, uh, you'll have a chance next year. So but another car next year? Yeah, if we can... We, very kindly, Gavin Henson's lent us this car for the last two years, and um, yeah, if we can uh, borrow it again next year, that'd be very nice. And if we can get an entry for our lad, that'd be great. But yeah, they're so excited. We just had the drivers briefing, so they've been given their instructions. And they really, yeah, it's, it's quite serious. It is. Yeah, the scrutineering for the cars and the drivers briefing there, so the kids are all in there. I think they're paying attention to the, what the <laughs> rules and the regulations are. But um, yeah, a lot of fun. And as a family, we love it. We get to see her. May, may I have a quick word? Yeah, yeah. Lila. Lila. Hello, Lila. Are you? Hello. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, let, let me have a word with Olivia. Hello, Olivia. Hello. Are you looking forward to the race? Hello, Luca. Hi. Would you like to talk to me about this race? Are you looking forward to it? Yeah. And what are you going to do? How? Uh, what, what are your plans for the race? Um. As hard um, as you can. Yeah. 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 And, and this is a this is a great car, isn't it? I love the red. Um, it's the same as my, as my grandpa's car, so we painted it just like it. That's that's super. So it's the same as grandpa's uh, Maserati, isn't it? Um, it's a Ferrari. Yeah. Are you looking forward to the race? Yes. Good. And wh what are you going to do? Pedal as hard as you can. Yes. Yes. Can I hold it? No. <laughs> Jerry, this, this has got to be an absolute hoot, hasn't it, this race? Yeah, it's going to be brilliant, really brilliant. And you've got all the, um, I think the competition's coming more from the parents. And Olivia's been training? I think so, she, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. I just told her to go for it. It's almost the busiest I've ever seen in the assembly area. With bigger teams running these cars than any of the TT cars, I think. We're standing in front of these, uh, these pedal cars, which probably epitomise Goodwood as much as anything, don't they? Yes, they do. And in fact, uh, my wife's after getting one for her grandson, so I might have to be shelling out. I don't know where you buy them from, but lovely. I think it's just great. And as you say, it epitomises what we're doing and hopefully brings new youngsters into Goodwood in years to come. And what a lovely way to yeah. start. Yeah. This is just an amazing event now. I mean, there must be 60 cars here, pedal cars. Yeah, it's, it's, for me, it's the highlight of the of the weekend really? yeah for sure just because he, he enjoys it so much we take it very easy with it you know i think some people will be able to take it a wee bit too seriously yeah. he just i just want him to enjoy it and everyone gets chocolate so it's good for <laughs> good wherever you finish and yeah i mean he just he loves he's he's in danger of polishing this car away really? and you know his knowledge as you heard you know he yeah. knows it's 
he knows it's the same as the, the, the GTO, and, and 22 is now his official number. Everything has to be 22. Oh, really? So yeah, I'm like the, yeah. the GTO was, the GTO yeah. was in period. So it's funny. You know, I've got my, you know, we've got obviously Nick, my father-in-law here, got my dad George, and my brother Dario. So it's a family affair, and I know my wife Holly is I, close I, by as well. So. I just had the, the surreal situation where I hadn't seen the yellow stripe on this side, yeah. and so. And the, the three events as well, you see. Of course, yeah. But I, I, I said to Luca, um, so this is the same colour as, as Grand, Grandad's uh, Maserati, and he just looked at me and said, Ferrari. Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's um, yeah, he's as I say, he's got, he's got good knowledge for a young man. He's very, he's very, uh, very. In fact, he corrects me most of the time on cars, so you're you're not the first on that one. <laughs> so I think this has all the hallmarks of being very expensive. Certainly for Grandpa, he just doesn't know it yet. It's going to be very expensive. We're having trouble finding the tar warmers. Yeah. Do you know where to put them? Yeah. 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 Next year. Next year. <laughs> well, don't get me started. Guys, thank you very thank much you. indeed. Thank, thank you. you. Take care.